check, mic check, mic check. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is David Lee. Welcome to a new video. This is going to be a comparison on Sydney Style Technicolor and EOS HD C-Log. So if um, you don't know what either of those are, they're basically custom picture profiles that you can pick up. One is free, Technicolor. One is paid, which is the EOS HD C-Log. That you can pick up for $24.99 and it also comes with built-in picture profiles that you can um, upload to your Canon cameras. I was using both for my Canon 80D and I received a few comments uh, in the YouTube videos that I did previously on what's the difference and uh, which one should you use uh, depending on what kind of situation you're in. But first, gotta have some coffee. So I played around with both of them for the past year or so. Um, I shot a kind of like a little mini documentary earlier this year with using uh, Technicolor Cine Style as it was free and a lot of people had really good reviews on it. The past two months I switched to EOS HD C-Log as I wanted to see if it was actually any better. But C-Log offered something that Technicolor didn't and it's a, it's a very more sort of baked in profile where you only have to color grade it uh, just minor, you know, it's a very very contrasty profile meaning the the shadows are a little bit more crushed uh, The blacks are you know really black. So if that's your type of look that you're going for then C-Log may speak to you Technicolor is a very flat profile. So it's similar if you're shooting on like S-Log on any of the Sony cameras It looks very flat very dull very um, Just desaturated to the point where you know, you don't even know what what a red is anymore It just kind of looks like red so which one should you use? Well, I'm gonna give you a couple examples of clips, videos that I shot with both Technicolor and C-Log. Alrighty, this first clip is from a mini documentary that I did uh, earlier this year for a friend who opened up a yoga studio and basically lived her dreams to move to New York City uh, to teach yoga there. But this is a shot of her, uh, her old apartment before she moved and her, uh, her cat, George, George Washington. But this is shot in Technicolor, uh, Sydney style Technicolor. And all I did was apply just a basic uh, tonality, uh, contrast and exposure, uh, no color grading. So, you know, it looks very like a flat image and it should be a very flat image. So if I just play this guy here. Uh, you may notice a little bit of artifacting or dancing in the, in the shadows just because the Canon 80D would just want to shut it on. Um, you know, it's, it's an okay camera. And right now what you're seeing is basically a color graded version um, of the same shot. So if I go back, this is Technicolor Cine style profile with just some basic uh, color correction. And then this is a color graded. And again, color grading is really, you know, what you want to make of your, of your video of your film. But as you can see, you can do um, some pretty some pretty good stuff with uh, Technicolor Cine style. I'll just play out a little bit and you can see George just, just chilling. But that's a basic um, idea, I guess, if you were shooting something indoors um, with, and this was in the morning, uh, late morning, so there was a lot of sun coming in through her living room window, as well as through the back, uh, the back patio, which you can see over here. Now, the next clip was uh, me, I was doing sort of like a voiceover thing for my cinematic trailer, and this is something I also used in the mini doc. I was out in the woods in Northern California, sort of near the Big Sur area, and I was just shooting next to this um, at the time, Big Sur was closed, so you couldn't go into it. And you know, I just found this, this side path and went up into the forest on my own. This is Technicolor Cine Style. And again, just basic color correction. Um, some little bit of contrast. Uh, lowered the shadows a little bit because there was a little bit of noise um, from my black sweater here and also my black beanie. But this is how Technicolor Cine Style can look outdoors. Um, I mean, broad daylight, this was like probably late morning, early afternoon or so. And the only shade I had, I believe was probably from the car overhead, uh, the car door overhead. So again, basic color correction, I'll let this play out. And I mean, it looks, you know, pretty good. If you want to just add some contrast, you want to add some tonality, uh, skin tones for, you know, the built-in profile looks good. And if we switch this, this is a color graded version that I added with, um, I think some film negative and you know a little bit of sharpness here and there, um, and I made this really you know kind of like a faded look, which is what I'm a fan of. 
But this is what uh, cine style can look like when you shoot with a Canon 80D and most likely another similar Canon camera. Uh, maybe like the 7D Mark II or even the 70D, something like the T6 along those lines and let this play out. So you can see this was um, pretty low ISO from what I remember, probably you know as low as I can go to 200 or below um, with ND in front of the lens and basic, you know, you have the color correction here and then you had my style of color grading here. So you can do some pretty cool stuff and make it look cinematic. All right, next clip, this is actually um, a documentary that I am currently working on and I decided to shoot this interview with a Canon 80D because I really do enjoy the um, dual pixel autofocus system. This was shot in EOS HD C-Log and this is a basic color correction. I'll let this clip play out because it's, it's pretty long. It's an interview. But um, basic color correction, contrast, um, highlight shadows, S-curve, things like that just to bring out a little bit of um, John's skin tone and also create the, um, the deflection of light on his um, camera left side. So this is what it looks like, just basic color, color correction, nothing, nothing fancy. And if I switch to um, the a color created, a color graded version of it, again, this is using EOS HD C-Log and you can tell um, a pretty drastic difference as this looks already more um, filmic in nature, you know? So we go to the basic uh, color corrected footage and now we're in the color graded footage. So looking pretty good. I mean, you can do some really cool stuff. Um, obviously the highlights are a little bit blown out as the dynamic range for the Canon 80D, you know, it's not that great, but it's still very, very usable. Um, I had natural diffusion from, I think this was just a blind from inside of this uh, studio environment. So just natural diffusion from, from there. And I think I added some diffusion in post as well too. Now the last clip is, um, I think a couple days earlier, um, this, this documentary I'm doing is on a band called The Brevet, the local band here in Orange County, California. And uh, I was with them because they were going to pick up some merchandise for a tour um, that they're on right now. Uh, it's like the beginning of August, so. But this is them just picking up some merchandise with this play. This is in a C-Log, EOS HD C-Log, again, with basic color correction. I think what's actually better, now that I think about it, so I apologize, is to show you what it looks like um, just raw from the camera. So um, all my color grading, I use a software called Magic Bull Looks, which is from Red Giant. I love it. Uh, it costs a good amount of money. It's about $314 if you purchase it off of B&H. Otherwise, it's like $400. Uh, but they give you a two week trial if you wanna try it out. So this is what EOS HD C-Log looks like with, with nothing, just straight from the camera. Okay. So again, very, very flat. Um, the skin tone's very, very soft. Uh, you can still see a little bit of the, uh, the sky. It was, it was a bright day. I did have ND. Um, on the Canon, I think I was using the 24 millimeter f2.8 STM. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I'll just let this play out. And this is what it looks like when you um, apply just, just basic color correction, right? Get some more contrast. And then if you want to do you know, your own color grading, this is what it could look like. Not a huge difference, uh, but all I did was I made the, the skin tones pop out more um, as they're naturally, you know, more, more of an orange color. So that's all I really did, a little bit more contrast and I wanted to keep my talents in um, more in focus and focus meaning I just want them visually to be um, drawn for the audience, you know? So that's why the, the background is pretty blown out. Um, purpose, right? You have to know exactly what you're doing purposely or intentionally. Going back one last time, again, this is uh, EOS HD C-Log, straight from the camera, a little bit of color correction, and then you wanna get all fancy with some color grading using Magic Bullet looks. I hope this video really helped you guys out in deciding whether you should use CityStyle, which is free, or C-Log, which you need to pay for. In my experience, you can use both regardless of what uh, lighting situation you're in. When you're looking at on the camera though, sometimes C-Log is a little bit uh, just easier to look at as there's still some uh, color in the monitor. Whereas when you're using CineStyle, everything just looks really flat. So unless you're used to shooting that way, 
or you have um, some type of external monitor where it's converting your image to say Rec 709, then perhaps CineStyle works just fine for you. I would say if you're new to color grading or if you're just looking at a way to bring more like vibrance to your footage on a Canon 70D, 80D, um, similar cameras, then you can try C-Log, um, but I would stay with CineStyle first for a while until you can get a better understanding of color grading and color theory. And then after that, if you feel like you've already done everything you can, then you can purchase C-Log and try it out for yourself. I think the one thing that you can walk away from this is a picture profile is not going to give you the most, uh, the most gorgeous looking picture. Right, it's two things. It's one, your ability to frame and to tell a story through your composition. And then two, it does come down to color grading, right? Your ability to enhance certain colors. Or if you're going for a very specific look, uh, a very like desaturated, faded look, something like that, then know how to grade it so that way you can utilize CineStyle at its best or C-Log at its best. So there you go. Try it out, so download CineStyle, it's free. See what you can do with it, maybe apply some LUTs to it if that speaks to you. Other than that, my name is David Lee, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video.